Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to give you a couple of updates on three of our stocks that we talk about on the channel. So uh, my apologies last night. I wanted to give one of these updates to you, but did not have access to my computer. So decided to just throw the update from that video onto this one. Um, so just to reiterate, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. Make sure you do your own research before investing. Also, if you find value in today's video, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Get your free stocks at Webull. Link in the description below. Other than that, guys, let's dive right on into it. All right, guys, so the first update, this was the one from last night I wanted to share with you. is about Sun Pacific Holding Corp, ticker symbol SNPW. And on their Twitter page, they tweeted, thank you for waiting patiently. We've been preparing our latest SEC filings and positive guidance from our CEO. We can also initially announce one of our updates. We just linked a deal with Chase for our smart solar advertising division. So really no other details have been released yet as far as what that entails. But I think that's in my opinion, good news. <laughs> so now the stock didn't really do too much, you know, right off the open this morning, it looked like it was going to get some volume and it was kind of a, you know, false breakout, I guess we had a buy signal and then it just kind of died down. So still around seven, seven and a half cents, which is, I mean, a steal right now, in my opinion, I think this thing's going to 25 to 30 cents fairly soon. So if you're not in and you're looking to get in now, would probably be a good time. Uh, once they actually release the official statement as far as what this entails, maybe it'll uh, make it start moving more towards the upside. Okay, guys, let me just take a quick look at the chart track right now. Uh, as you see here, seven and a half cents. Uh, we're keep consolidating around that price point. So uh, we did get a buy signal later in the day. So it'd be nice if we can get a big green candle and have one large green candle close above our green EMA line and pushes forward and then from there our next key resistance would be roughly about 13 and a half cents okay guys next update is on zion oil and gas okay and this one here they released on twitter and through email and they've been constantly blowing up my email the past few days just reminding people that today was the final day to invest in zion oil's unit program for stock and warrants okay and a lot of people have been talking about how the warrants have been holding it down and that's the reason that we're not moving to the upside I'm not so sure if that's the case or not I'm hoping that's what it is because if that's the case then being that they ended today then you should see it start moving to the upside I guess we'll wait and see again I'm not really sure if that's exactly what's holding us back um, I would be very happy if it would be the thing holding us back. <laughs> Tell us up closer to that dollar mark or beyond. Um, in my opinion, it would make more sense if the warrants were actually being redeemed at a lower price. So, for example, if the warrants that were redeem redeemable were like at 50 cents or 60 cents or whatever, and people were cashing in, getting those shares, kind of like what happened with Golden Nugget, that makes more sense to me because that's what's keeping the price down. In this case, the warrants are actually for a dollar, which is about 30 cents more than what the stock is actually trading for right now. So um, I, I don't understand you know, the logic behind it. But again, I don't care as long as it moves the stock higher. OK, guys, we'll take a look at the charts. And it's kind of like the same old, same old with uh, <laughs> with this stock here. So we're, we're still below the SMA line. I hadn't done much the past couple of weeks. Uh, we got to get above that 74 cent mark to bust through another resistance level. To get over that SMA line, we got to get it about uh, 83 and a half cents and hold. Okay. Uh, the reason I have this line right here, and I'll show you a little later on the next um, update, is this looks like it's creating kind of like a falling wedge where it can potentially bust through. Uh, if and if it busts through this line right here and holds above it, then that should be a really, really good sign for us moving forward. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. It'll be very interesting to see, um, you know, how it comes out tomorrow morning. So, again, uh, if we can get above 83 and a half cents, then that'll be a good sign and hold there. And the next key resistance would be about 93 and a half cents. 
Hi guys, and last but certainly not least is Golden Nugget Online Gaming ticker symbol G N O G G Dizzle. My Nizzle, man. This thing had a little pullback, just like we talked about. Okay, we talked about a pullback the other day, and it dropped down into the 16s, and then it rose back up, and then shot right back up to um, you know to $18 after hour. So that's currently about where we're at right now. So. Earnings should be coming up again fairly soon, guys. That's a huge catalyst for us, and I think that's going to propel us closer to that $30 mark if they're positive, and especially if they uh, exceed expectations from those preliminary numbers. Okay, guys, we're looking at the charts on Golden Nugget Online Gaming. As you see, I drew uh, this trend line coming down, and I was kind of checking it out, saying, like, okay, if we bust above uh, this falling trend line here and hold above it then we're in good shape and that's exactly what happened we came we busted through at about 15 bucks and then we just been on a solid uptrend uh, ever since there was a pullback we talked about came down really good sign that we bounced off of support okay and we got a buy signal um, recently and we had a pretty decent sized candle right here that finished above that uh, EMA line so if we can get another one first thing tomorrow morning and push a little bit higher into the 18s, then I think we could possibly see 19 or above tomorrow, okay? First key resistance level is gonna be 1886, and then from there, 2104. So uh, if you're looking to get into this stock, guys, it's still not a terrible idea to get in now at these prices, because I do see it going into the 20s fairly soon. Um, I'm going to check it out first thing in the morning. I did try to buy more after hours, and for some reason, I could not get my order to go through. I was trying to buy a little bit more at these prices, and um, I'm going to write it up, like I said, to $30 or beyond. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in today's video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, and comment below on any other type of financial information that you would like me to cover in our channel so other than that guys don't forget your free stocks with we will with the links in the description below and we'll catch you in tomorrow's video